Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about how to insert tables and how to apply borders for that tables in PowerPoint 2010. So this is our chapter three in class six. Let us get into the video and start inserting the tables. So first table is nothing but a grid of cells arranged in rows and columns. So as you all know, table is made up of rows and columns and each and every box in a table is called a cell. So it's a combination of grid of cells which are arranged in rows and columns. Okay. So each and every box in this table is called a cell. So this is one cell. This is one cell. This is one cell. Right. So uh, how to insert a table in the PowerPoint? We can insert a table by three different methods. First one, you can use the squares option which are available. Second one, you can insert it through columns and rows option and the third one using the placeholder option okay so let us go inside powerpoint window and let me show you how to insert a table using these three methods right so now we are in powerpoint and uh, let me insert one more slide okay so now here you can see the placeholder is different what is meant by placeholder the place where we can type the information okay so now if you check the title slide and the next slide the placeholder is different okay so now how to insert the table for the first step go to insert tab and under the tables group you have table option just click on table button you can see the grid the number of rows and columns is being seen over here when i'm hovering my mouse pointer on the grid okay so when you are hovering the mouse pointer i'm not clicking on it i'm just hovering it i'm just moving my mouse pointer on this uh grid so i can see the table on my slide okay so this is just like a preview right i'm just clicking on this four cross four so that i'll be getting four a table with four rows and four columns that's it i've got a table with four rows and four columns okay so this is one way of inserting the table now let me delete this table and i'm just going to insert the table in other way now the second way is again go to insert tab under the tables group click on table you can see the first option available here is insert table i'm just clicking on it you'll be getting a small dialog box insert table dialog box which is asking you to enter the number of columns and number of rows by default it is five columns and two rows okay you can enter the values between one to 75 so you can insert a table with 75 rows and 75 columns okay and now let it be with the default options like five columns and two rows and i'm just clicking okay i'm just getting a new table okay so this is second way of inserting the table now let me go to the third way so the third way of inserting the table is from the placeholder okay so here in the placeholder you can see a few icons the first one is insert table just click on this enter the number of columns and click okay you'll be getting it okay so these are the three methods to insert a table now how to work on this table first resizing the table using the corner dots you can resize the table okay and you can drag it by just clicking and dragging you can resize the table next how to enter the data in this just click inside it start typing the information right and to go to the next cell press tab key if i press tab key now i'll be taken here to the next cell next row okay so here classic section a admission number one two three four so this is how you can enter the data next how to design the table okay so when you're clicking outside the table which means when the table is not selected it if you check the tabs it is only up to here okay when i'm clicking on it i'm just selecting it means i will be getting two more new tabs which is called design and layout in design we have table styles if you click over here, we can see all the designs available like best match for document, light, medium and dark. And from this, you can select whichever you want. So I'm just selecting some color. Okay. So this is applying the color which is already available, the predefined color. Okay. The next one is shading. How to apply a shading, a color for a particular cell or a whole table. Okay. So now for this cell, we are going to apply the shading. I'm just going here first option available here is the color so you can apply the color directly from here for the selected cell okay under shading we have picture option 
So if, I, if you click on picture option, you'll be taken like, to a dialog box, which is asking for you to and select the option like from a file or online picture. Okay. So up to MS Office 2010, you'll be getting only two options like from a file and online pictures in 2013, 19 and all will be having from icons also. So now I'm, I'm just clicking on from a file. I'll be taken to Windows Explorer of my device. Here it is opening. Go to the folder which has images. Just click on it. Open some image and click insert. So that particular image will be applied as a background. Okay. So this is inserting picture using the shading as a background. Next, the next option for shading is gradient effect. So you all know what is gradient, right? Now I'm just clicking on more gradient. I'll be taken to a new window. So here I can check the gradient. Okay. So here we have preset gradients which are already available. You can directly avail from here or go here and select click on the first one. Change the color for the first one. Click on the second one. Change the color for the second one. And if you want, you can change even the third color. Okay. So it is a combination of three colors. So this is applying gradient effect. The next option under shading is texture. So you all know MS Office is having few set of textures in it. So to apply that, just click on any texture, whichever you want. That's it. So this is how you can insert, you can add shading effects to your table. Okay. So now next thing is borders. Now it is showing no borders. You can ask me, ma'am, it is showing the borders. How can you say it has no borders? I'm just clicking outside. See, I cannot see the border line here in the rows. Okay. As we have applied different shadings over here, we can see those because it is not the border. It is just border of that particular image. Now click inside the table, go here to borders. You'll be getting a list of border options. No border, all borders, outside, inside, top, bottom, left and right, and then uh, horizontal, vertical, all the things. Okay. Now I'm just clicking on all borders. Now border has been inserted for the whole table. For this, before selecting the all border, you must need to select the whole table by clicking and dragging. Okay. So this is inserting the borders. Next, we have effects. So we have three types of effects here. Cell bevel, shadow, reflection. Cell bevel, you can see it may, it will make uh, your table cells look like a button, the 3D level. Okay. And then we have shadow. Okay. So I'm just applying the shadow effect for my table and I can even apply reflection. Okay. So these are the things we can do using the design tab in our table. Next, go to layout tab. So here, the first option is delete. Okay, so these are all the basic things of the tables. Come here, it is delete. Under delete, we have delete column, delete row, and delete table. Suppose you wanted to delete some row or column. Just click inside the cell. Go to delete and click on delete columns. That particular column will get deleted. I'm doing control Z. Now, delete rows. Okay, control Z. So now, Delete table will delete the whole table. So these are all delete options. Next, we have insert options. Four types of insert options are available. Insert above, insert below, insert left, insert right. Above and below will be inserting the rows. Left and right will be inserting the columns. Now, when you are inserting this, wherever the cursor is, that particular uh, formatting options will be applied for the new row or new column. So now let us see all these one by one. So I'm just clicking over here. I'm just clicking on insert above. So I've got a new row with the same set of shading options. Okay. I'm just doing undo. Now insert below. Same thing. Now I'm just clicking here in this row which has no shadings. If I click on insert above, it is coming with no shading. Okay, so this is how formatings, the designings will be inserted for your new row or new column. And let me click over here. I'm just clicking insert left. I've got a new column with the same set of designs. And do insert right. That's it. Okay, so these are all the things you can make it in table. And here we have alignment for text alignment. I'm just clicking over here. Middle, middle, you can see whenever I'm clicking over there, the direction is changing, the alignment is changing. Okay, so these are all the things you can do with your table. Okay, to make your table good look. Okay, you can do all these things. And this is actually the first part of your chapter 3. 
and in the second part we'll be having how to insert pictures and clip art and in the third part you'll be having the video for inserting a chart okay hope you are clear on this if you have any doubt feel free to put it in the comment box we'll meet you in the next video thank you happy learning